This is a tutorial on the iPad app Viddle, and Viddle acts as a recordable whiteboard on your iPad, and this tutorial will give you an example of how you can do that. So we're going to scroll over to the app. Viddle is a whiteboard recording app, but uh, you can also insert images and compare images or uh, annotate images and that kind of thing, and you could do it with text if your text is in image format. You can actually input text too. Uh, you see you have Viddle free, that's about a one minute uh, free version of Viddle. You're limited in what you can do, but hey, for your students in school, maybe the free version is all they need because you can also put it on your phone. I like the paid version of Viddle, so we're going to tap on that. It gives you some more features. If you go to the image circle at the top, you can get a, an intro movie, you can get links to, uh, to the user's guide and find uh, new information. You also have the quick start guide that comes with when you buy the app. I'm going to push the plus sign at the top and I get My Viddle. So I have a new whiteboard set up called My Viddle. I can tap on the title there and rename it, but we'll do that later. So I tap on the whiteboard and I'm going to set this up for recording. And I'm going to set it up to show the difference between uh, Before Christ and Anno Domini and Before Common Era and Common Era for my social studies class. Now. If I want, I can click the information button and then page background and change the color, but I like white. I'm going to tap at the top on black because I want the black uh, ink, whether it's a stylus or your finger. I'm going to click on draw, and I've got three different settings already in place that I, I like. I'm going to go with A because I want the thickness of 7. And just to remind you that if you click add, you can add text and pictures and take a picture if you want, but we're not doing that. I'm doing the drawing, but I'm not going to explain as I draw for my students like I'm doing for you. I'm going to set it up. So I'm creating my timeline, and I'm going to put BC and AD here, and I'm going to refer to this as a style guide because I've seen that before. And again, we're looking at how we look at history in terms of time. How do we count time? Uh, I'm going to push the plus button at the bottom because I want to use two different slides for this. So I'm going to create the same thing, but this time I'm going to put B, C, E. And I'm putting these things here, and then C, E, because I want to use a different font to explain these things as we go. So I've got my two slides ready. I'm going to click the back arrow. And I want to use a different color. So at the top, I'm going to click on blue. Of course, if I was to click and hold, there are other options I have. So now I'm ready to record. So I'm going to click record at the top and explain things to my students, well, to you very quickly. Okay, so we're going to talk about a style guide for how we kind of um, count time, uh, historically speaking, you know, how we look at our chronology. And we've got BC, which you've probably heard of, and we have AD. And BC really means before Christ. So that's the idea of this year zero. AD is Latin for, well, shortened Latin called Anno Domini, and it means in the year of our Lord. So the year that Jesus Christ was born. Now, of course, the whole world isn't Christian, so we've come up with something different, which is style guide number two, we call before common era and common era. So, of course, before the birth of Christ would be before common era, but most people don't recognize it in the world as, you know, the birth of Christ. But the year zero, it just is common for many people around the world to use to, uh, to, to separate, you know, old time ancient history, if you will, and then more medieval to modern history. So that's basically why we use before common era and common era. So that's my one minute explanation. I'm going to hit and if I want to view it, I click view. And of course, you want to view it because you want to see how it looks. So you would push the play button at the bottom. And we're not going to, of course, play through it, so I'll pause that. Uh, if it's fine, then I can email it. If I want to save it to the camera roll, I have just saved it to the camera roll. I can open it in different social media. I can save it in Drive if I want. I can also share it. And let's go back to open just to point out, too, that you can also open up that uh, video into iMovie. Uh, if you want to get rid of it, you can click edit and then delete it by clicking the red circle 
And we're all finished, so I'm going to click close. And this is it for this part of the whiteboard recording version of the iPad app Vittle.